we have a Sterling engine on top of a cup full of dry ice. There wasn't enough dry ice to, to place this directly on the uh, on the dry ice, so it's going from the cup. It's not as dramatic as if the cup had been filled with hot tea, but it does run for a little while from the temp because this is it's running based on temperature differential from the two plates. So we can get some action out of it, but then it'll slowly lose its energy and stop again. So, and it took some time for, you can tell the frost had to build up quite a bit on the cup for it to finally affect that bottom plate enough to cool it. And that's it.